Today we are talking about our presentation to the 28 finance ministers of Europe in Athens at the informal ECOFIN. We set a new topic by discussing at lunch with them the uh, social problems and unemployment problems, but also inequality problems that Europe faces. Scholt, our paper paints a pretty bad picture of the social situation in Europe in terms of unemployment, youth unemployment, long-term unemployment, poverty, but also inequality. Would you like to summarize our main findings? Europe faces major social problems. Unemployment has increased, and it is a record high in two decades. Poverty has increased in a number of European Union countries, and in particular, long-term unemployment and also the children who are living in jobless households has increased very significantly in a number of European Union countries. On the other hand, Europe's social problems is also very diverse. For example, there are some countries in which the unemployment rate is very low, about 5%. Also, poverty is very low. But there are countries where unemployment rate is about 20% or even more, and poverty is much, much higher. Yes, and on top of um, these poverty and unemployment problems, of course, there's an inequality uh, issue also. And one of our findings is that countries that had already very high levels of inequality before the crisis actually suffered the most severe crisis. So we see that those countries uh, have seen a lot of household borrowing, an increase in private debt, which is very substantial. And all of this made um, the crisis much, much deeper. So we cannot uh, exclude the possibility that really inequality prior to the crisis has also been one of the causes for um, uh, you know, the deeper troubles we've been seeing later. The crucial question is what conclusions to draw for policy. Our first conclusion is that tackling unemployment, poverty and inequality is important not just for its own sake, but also because they have a negative impact on growth and also thereby on su the sustainability of public finances. If people are unemployed for, for long, then their work-related rela skills are diminishing and their reintegration into the labor market will be more difficult. And th at the same time, they cannot also, they cannot support their children as much as needed. For example, there was a very interesting finding by the OECD. They showed that uh, children whose parents have a higher social and economic rank in the society, they are performing much better in the PISA scores so they can reach better educational results than those children whose parents do not work. So one of our findings is that the efficiency of social security systems is very different across European countries. For example, in Italy, the spending on social security, social protection, leads to far less reduction in income inequality than the same spending in Denmark. In other words, national policies should be conducive and should, uh, should help to make social security systems, social protection more efficient. And that's a big, big uh, important factor to reduce um, the pressure on public finances. But of course, we also argue that there is a demand management side, so a European side. We need European action to make sure that um, there is a de enough demand in the economy um, and to make sure that also new employment is being created. Um, that is a very uh, difficult task where national policymakers alone, in some cases, cannot act. Our third major conclusion is that the tax benefit system should also be revised in a number of countries uh, because, for example, we found that the elderly people were protected more during the crisis than family and children. Also, spending on education was cut much more, and this can lead to a lost generation, uh, and this can undermine long-term growth. The other aspect is the distribution between the poor and the wealthy. Uh, the tax systems could be revised to tax more the wealthy people, and recent economic research suggested that higher marginal tax rates may not have that negative impact on economic growth as previously thought. And also wealth taxes or inheritance taxes may provide the fiscal means to support the young and the poor, and thereby it can also contribute 
a more equitable society and better economic outcomes.